two boards are attached together by screws that are spaced at irregular intervals of 4 inch along the length of the beam to form the inverted T-beam as shown in the figure. Each screw has an allowable shear force capacity of 480 pounds. What is the maximum allowable load P that can be applied to this uh, beam? We need to follow those five steps again. Step number one is I switch step number one and two here. That would be, that's not a big deal. So section properties including the location of centroid and the moment of inertia is calculated by the SIGPRO app. Y bar is 2.83 inch from the bottom and moment of inertia is this one. All right, so first we need to determine the reaction forces, BY and DY. Some of the moments about D, so BY would be 2.3P, and some of the forces in Y direction gives me P plus 2P would be BY plus DY, and that would be DY equal to 0.7P. Okay? Once we determine the reaction forces, we can draw the shear diagram. Starting from the left, Following the direction of the concentrated force, the initial value of shear force would be negative P. That would be constant from A to B. At B, there is a jump up by the magnitude of BY, which is 2.3 P. And that gives us 1.3 P constant all the way to C. There would be another jump going downward with the magnitude of 2 P, which gives us negative 0.7 P at that point. And that remains constant until reaching to point D, which gives us the zero uh, shear force. All right. The maximum shear force should be picked up for the calculation because that is critical. Look at the spacing of the bolts. They are, they are having the same spacing. So I need to kind of design that for the most critical part, <coughs> which has the highest amount of shear force. So Vmax is oh, it's 1.3 P. Now, we need to determine the value of Q. Q should be calculated either for the bottom part or for the top part. We consider the bottom part. Area of that bottom part would be 1 inch times um, 7 and half inch. And distance of the centroid of that subsection to the centroid of the entire section would be 2.83 minus half of one inch, 2.33 inch. And I plug that into this equation and that gives me 17.48 inch cubed. In step number four, we determine the shear flow. The shear flow is VQ over I. V is 1.3, I have to correct that. Q is 17.48 and I is 113.5. And that gives me a value of 0.2 P. Step number five, we determine how much is the shear stress in the bolt. And based on that, we determine how much would be the required force. So the design equation would be M times V pen should be larger than Q times S. Now let's plug the values. How much is M in this case? M would be one. How much is the V pen? V pen is 480 pounds as given in the problem statement and the value of Q as calculated in the previous step is 0.2 P and spacing is 4 inch. Now I plug the values here to determine how much is the required value of load. I need to solve that for P. So 1 times 480 pounds should be larger than and if I solve that for P, it's the value of force in this case would be 600 pounds. So this is the maximum load that we can apply to this beam. Um, to understand that better, let me show you this three-dimensional shape. Remember that each bolt has a capacity of 480 pounds. And they are spaced every four inch. And based on that, we can determine how much is the maximum shear flow that we can have in the system. And based on that, we can determine how much is the maximum allowable load that we can apply to that beam. This is how we solve that problem. Any questions?